Now we will see a very easy trick to write the p by q form of these decimals. Just by looking at the decimals, you can say the p by q form. 0 0.5 bar here. So periodicity, that means how many numbers are repeating? One number. So write 1, 9 in the denominator. And the next, write the complete number without decimal point minus and subtract the numbers lying left side of this bar containing number. So how many numbers? Only 0, right? So this is 5 by 9. That is the p by q form. Second one, 3.8 bar. How many numbers are repeating? Periodicity 1. So write 1, 9. Next I am telling, write complete number without decimal point and next subtract the digits contains left side to this bar containing number. Only 3 is there. So this is 35 by 9. I think you are understanding students. Okay, if they ask, for, ask the question for 2 marks, you can do the process. If it is asking, asked for just half mark or in multiple questions, you can write like this. 0 0.36 bar. So on how many numbers bar contains two numbers. So write two nines in the denominator and write the complete number and subtract the numbers lies left side to the bar containing number only 0. 36 by 99. 3 twelves, 3 36. Again, 3 elevens, 3 fours. So it is 4 by 11. Next or last one, 3.127 bar. How many numbers are repeating? 1. So write 1 9. And how many numbers lying to the left side of that number? And before, after the decimal point, 2. So put two zeros. Okay. I'm repeating. Here one number is repeating. So I wrote 9. And two digits are there after this number and after the decimal point. Before this number and after the decimal point. So put two zeros. So now write complete number. Minus, you have to subtract the digits lies left side of this repeating number. That means this 3, 12 without decimal point. So if we subtract 3, 12, 7 minus 2, 5, 1, we are 8, 2. So this is 20, 2815 by 900. Right. In the process actually we got 28.15 by 9. Afterwards we multiplied with 100 by 100. Right. So like this. Now we can cancel. 5 18s 180. 5 5s are 5 6s are 5 3s. So this is 563 by 180. So like this very easily you can write the p by q form of given decimal points. I think you understand these students. Thank you for watching.